Welcome again to another edition of Family Worship Night. Have you read a good mystery lately? You know, sometimes the Bible seems like a mystery every time I read a chapter. In this episode, we are going to talk about the mystery of the Bible and Jesus' teaching. We will also share in a prayer together and then sing a song. So grab the family and your Bible and let's get going. Tonight we're going to talk about reading scripture. You know, currently I'm using this platform to encourage you at home to engage in the Bible. Last year as a church family, many of us took the challenge to read through the Bible using the Read Scripture app where we read through the Bible in a whole year. Many of you did just that and were excited when we completed the challenge last month. This year, the challenge is a little easier in terms of the reading schedule, and we hope that you will go deeper into your reading plan. We're challenging you to simply read one chapter a day, but then spend some time thinking through what you read. You could discuss it with a partner or spend time journaling or just pray through the scripture in the daily assignment. Currently, we are reading through the book of Matthew. And following the chapter day plan, you would have read through chapters 10 through 16 last week. So I chose a verse for us to consider from Matthew chapter 13. I would like to invite you to grab your Bible and turn there with me. But first, we'll have a word of prayer and then share in a worship song for today. So let's pray. Our Father, we give you thanks and glory and honor as we come before you this day. Father, we want to spend this time with you and in your word. That we might honor you and that we might find your grace and your love and your strength. Would your spirit just permeate each person and each home of those who are watching this video today. May you bless them and guide them and remind them that you're with them and encouraging them. Give us all insight to your word as we read it. And Father, may you give us just the strength and the comfort that we need each day as we uh, as, as we go through our, the days that we live. We just thank you, Father. We love you. We, we uh, love spending this time with you. So we ask you to bless it in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, well, let's share that song together. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, worship His holy Sing like never before, all my soul, I worship your holy name. The sun comes up, it's a new day dawn, it's time to sing your song again whatever may pass and whatever lies before me let me be singing when the evening comes bless the Lord oh my soul oh my soul worship his holy name sing like never before oh my soul i worship your holy name your I wish 
Welcome back as we read a portion of Scripture. By now, you should have opened your Bible to Matthew chapter 13 and I invite you to look down at verse 10. Now, Jesus has just finished telling the large crowd about the parable of the sower. In that story, a farmer sows seed in his field and some of the seed falls on bad soil and other seed falls on good soil and it produces a harvest. After the story, the disciples come to Jesus and they ask him, why he taught the people in the manner in which he did. Why didn't he just explain his teachings in a little easier detail? Well, let's look at his answer in verse 10 through 13. It says this, Then the disciples came to him and said, Why do you speak to them in parables? And he answered them, To you it has been given to know the secrets of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it has not been given. For the one who has... Even more will be given, and he will have an abundance. But the one who does not, even what he has will be taken away. This is why I speak to them in parables, because seeing they do not see, and hearing they do not hear, nor do they understand. <laughs> you know, I read through those scriptures, and I find that his answer is a little interesting, because the disciples asked Jesus why his teachings seemed to have a thin veil of ministry draped over them. And then Jesus' answers to the disciples still seems not very direct. I know, at least for me, I'm reading the verse thinking, okay, so now what does the answer mean? Seeing he does, they do not see and hearing they do not hear? You know, his answer is a mystery on top of a mystery. It's an enigma hidden within a perplexity. However, it doesn't take too much for us to think about what he said, that the answer might become clear and Jesus' teaching uh, become a, a little bit more available to us as we think about what he said. You know, I love what David Guzik said about this passage. He said that the same sun that softens the wax hardens the clay. And so the very same gospel message that humbles the honest heart and leads to repentance may also harden the heart of the dishonest listener and confirm their path of disobedience. That is clear that that's what happens to those who read the Bible. For some, it leads them to new life, while for others, they despise the Bible and it's the message that's contained within. I was thinking about Danny LaRusso from the movie The Karate Kid, who wanted to learn karate from Mr. Miyagi. Remember how Mr. Miyagi had him paint the fence and then sand the floor and wax the car? Remember, wax on, wax off. Of course, Danny didn't under, ex, understand the concept of muscle memory that Mr. Miyagi was teaching him through these repetitive motions. Danny was so frustrated and wanted to give up until Mr. Miyagi demonstrated all that Danny had learned by doing the work. You know, reading the Bible can at times feel like hard work, and it can be difficult to learn what God wants us to know. But will you spend time in God's Word every day this next year? I challenge you to search and to read and to think through the messages of Scripture so that you know the whole gospel from the Bible. 
and just see what mysteries begin to open themselves up to you so that you can know the secrets of the kingdom of heaven, as Jesus said. As a family, I want to leave you with a couple of questions so that you can discuss at home for further reflection. First, read back through the first part of chapter 13 and discuss the meaning of Jesus' parable. Second, what is the difference between those who hear and those who do not? Maybe talk about those two questions for a moment and then finish up your own time of worship together as a family. But for now, that's it. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this time together as we are enjoying Family Worship Night. You know, it'll happen again next week, so make sure that you subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell to receive reminders every time we add a new video. If you found this video helpful, consider sharing the video on your own social media page and encourage others to join us for Family Worship Night. We'll see you again next week. God bless.